Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive. We're back here today with episode 2 of Against the Odds. So last week we played a Sage of Hours combo deck, wanted to see how long it took us uh, to get infinite turns in standard with Sage of Hours, so what the odds were that we could pull off that combo. Uh, we figured out it took us about 5 games. So about 20% of the time you can expect to take infinite turns with our build of Sage of Hours. Then of course we had the voting to see what we were going to play this week and you guys were awesome. We had over 1500 votes which blew me away. Thank you all so much for voting. And after all of that the top two options were separated by 1%. 16 votes out of over 1,500. Uh, so that was super exciting. At one point, they were tied with over 1,200 votes. It was it was just insane to watch the voting over the weekend. Uh, anyway, the winner, and by popular demand, the next episode of Against the Odds is Biovisionary in Modern. It just barely edged out Tain and Remedy in Standard, uh, and then coming in a little bit behind Illusions in Modern and Waste Not in Standard, then way at the bottom, Apparently no one likes Legacy is Tricks, the Donate Illusions of Grandeur combo for a Legacy. So, attached to this episode of Against Odds, we will have a whole new poll. This one, of course, Biovisionary drops off, because that's the videos we're about to get to. Tricks from Legacy, you're out of here, because only 7% of people voted for you. And Tainted Remedy, Illusions, and Waste Not will be back, joined by two new options uh, for Episode 3. So anyway, let's break down quickly the decks. Yes, I said decks. Uh, let me explain this a little bit. I spent a long time thinking about the right way to build a Biovisionary deck in Modern, and after thinking about it, I came to the very, very wrong conclusion. My initial try was to build a Mirror Weave combo deck with Biovisionary. So just uh, so we know what we're talking about, Biovisionary is a creature from Gatecrash costs one a green and a blue, it's a 2-3, and it has this ability where at the beginning of the end step, either yours or your opponent's, either end step, if you control four more creatures named Biovisionary, you win the game. So I thought about this, what's the way to do it, how can we do it, what's the way to win, and for some reason I decided Mirror Weave was the path we should go down. Mirror Weave is an instant, uh, so it costs two and two high blood blue or white mana. Uh, in the deck I put together, it was always blue, we didn't have any white. It's an instant, each other creature becomes a copy of target non-legendary creature until end of turn. So the idea was we could play a bunch of creatures, and for this we went with Mana Dorks, Birds of Paradise, Elvish Mystic, um, Noble Hierarch. So flood the board with creatures, get at least three creatures and a Biovisionary on the battlefield. and then we could mirror weave, copying the Biovisionary, make all of our other creatures into Biovisionaries and win the game. Uh, this worked out in theory much better than in practice. Uh, <laughs> I found myself, we, I played eight games with this deck and the videos are there for you to see, but it has a really hard time beating Path to Exile. Also has this weird situation came up where there were times when we could combo off, but Mirror Weave makes all creatures do a copy of target non-legendary creature. So if our opponent had four creatures on the battlefield, it would turn all their creatures into Biovisionaries as well, and they could win the game on our end step. So there were all kinds of problems. The rest of the deck, though, was uh, Summoner's Packs, Chords of Calling, to find our Biovisionaries, uh, some Pact of Negations, Dispels, to um, protect the combo, Merchant Scroll, which can find both Summoner's Pact, Dispel, and Mirror Weave, uh, so four Merchant Scrolls, and a single Infinite Reflection, which was basically our fifth copy of Mirror Weave, although it's more expensive and definitely more fragile because it's sorcery speed. So that was my first take. The videos are posted, but it didn't go all that well. So after eight games, I said, we gotta try something else. I really wanna make this Biovisionary deck sweet. So, what we ended up with, Coco Clones Biovisionary. And this deck is awesome. <laughs> this deck is so sweet. Uh, I have to say, we had some absolutely insane plays with this deck. I had so much fun playing this deck. For some reason, uh, I guess no one has thought of playing a whole bunch of cheap clones with Collected Company, uh, but this just ended up being insanity. So the idea was, the plan was, 
that we would get a biovisionary on the battlefield with the help of Court of Calling, Collected Company, and even a couple evolutionary leaps. And then we would just copy it. We had four phantasmal images. We have four renegade doppelgangers. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, renegade doppelganger becomes a copy of it until end of turn. We have three cemetery pukas. Whenever a creature dies, puts is put to the graveyard from play, you can pay one and it becomes a copy of it. We have four cryptoplasms. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may have cryptoplasm become a copy of another target creature and it gains this ability. And even two body doubles, the so one creature that doesn't get hit by a collected company. Um, which the idea was that if someone killed our biovisionary, we could play a body double. Or if we had to sack our biovisionary to evolutionary leap, we could play the body double, copy it, and start off our clone chain once again. So this seemed like a sweet plan. Uh, also, <laughs> also uh, some noble hierarchs uh, to ramp our mana and eternal witnesses. Clones are just really sweet. So I actually might keep working on this deck because hitting phantasmal images and uh, the like off of Collected Company is just absolutely insane. That's part of the fun of this deck is Collected Company is a little bit random. So sometimes we would have <laughs> we would have like double biovisionary. You're like biovisionary and phantasmal image copying it to be another biovisionary on the battlefield, and we're casting Collected Company on like our opponent's second main phase, and we're just crossing our fingers if we can hit two clones. We take and we'll win the game, but you have this random element where you just never you just never know what you're gonna hit, and it leads to all kind of fun plays. So I had a ton of fun playing it. I hope the videos are entertaining because I was super entertained. This deck, I like it a ton better than the first one. This is definitely this is the deck that I wish I had built to begin with. Uh, in keeping with the the whole idea of the series, the videos are posted for the first deck too. Uh, so make sure to check those out as well but really don't miss the coco clones version because oh it was so much fun anyway uh like always enjoy the videos and make sure to vote in the article for what you want to see next week and uh i will talk to you guys later